a little something about Raymond. He's an investor in stocks and rentals. He wants no money from you, no bait and switch, nothing. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to log into his personal account, share real estate property documents, and give you suggestions on what to read. Yo, what's up, everybody? Hopefully, everybody is doing good. And I want to make this video. I'm making this video to put y'all up on game. And I'm not even sure if anybody else will be making a video like this. So check it out. Today is Monday, August 31st. And I'm Raymond, StocksAndRentals.com. And today uh, is the stock split. So uh, Tesla and Apple the stock actually split today everybody was you know getting ready for this I heard a lot of people saying oh I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy the day that it splits and um, I'm not gonna get into a lot of details about that theory or that logic because stocksandrentals.com is all about the beginning or beginner investor so I'm, I'm going to keep it simple, but it's a whole bunch of things that I could say in terms of that, uh, those type of statements in terms of, you know, you're going to make a lot of money or things are going to be different after the stock split pr prior to the stock being split. Anyway, we're going to leave that alone. So today's video, again, is to put you guys up on game. So let, let me show you guys this. This is a popular website. It's called Down Detector. So if you're trying to do something and you're wondering if it's your internet connection at your house or, you know, your phone, your computer, or the website you're trying to get to, this website can help you out. So the game I want to put you up on is that the market opens at 9.30, so that's the normal market hours. It opens at 9.30 and it closes at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check out what happened to everybody who was saying, oh, I'ma buy Tesla and Apple at 9.30 uh, when the stock splits. I wanna log on and, and get that. All right, so let's check out some of the websites that crashed at 930. So if your account is at Vanguard, you see the spike, a lot of people couldn't log in. Ameritrade, this spike. I trade with Ameritrade and I also use Fidelity. I tried to log in at 930. I didn't buy any stocks today. I just wanted to see if I can log in and I couldn't. So I couldn't get into TD Ameritrade. Let's keep going. Let's keep scrolling. Cash App. Some people like to trade, buy stocks, bonds using Cash App. Well, check out Cash App. They had a spike. I bet you that spike was around 930. Let's keep going. E-Trade. That's another account that you can use to uh, buy and uh, sell stocks. Ah, they got a spike. Hmm. I'm thinking it was at 9.30. Let me scroll down and see if I see any other. Okay, I'm not even gonna go to show more, but let me like really, really get into it. So I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and I'm gonna type in TD Ameritrade because I use TD Ameritrade. All right, TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade problems last 24 hours. So this is 4 p.m. yesterday. So we're gonna keep going, going. So now it's 1.50 a.m. today, which is August 31st. So we're gonna keep going and going and going. Uh-oh, it's getting close to nine. It's getting close to 9.30. 9.05, you're still okay. Let's go some more. Let 
935 peak you see all this red right here it's the peak 935 a lot of people couldn't log into their accounts including me so let me give you the game i just told you the problem here's the game i remember when facebook first uh went public in terms of trading everybody tried to log in on that day to buy facebook it was Facebook's IPO and all the sites were crashing. So with Facebook, uh, you couldn't buy the stock prior to the IPO unless you were some big shot and you had the inside hookup. I don't have the inside hookup or anything like that. So the lesson learned from the Tesla and Apple split, you should have bought the stock yesterday. Um, I'm sorry, you should have bought the stock prior to the split and you didn't have all this red going on in terms of, man, I can't even log into my account. Or you could have bought it earlier in the morning if your account was set up for pre-trading. So pre-trading means before the market opens, you can actually log into most brokerage accounts and you can start buying stock. So if you really wanted to buy Tesla stock and Apple stock, you should have probably logged in this morning. Now this is a peak. So it happened in the morning. Uh, the other thing you could have done, of course, is right now it's almost 2 p.m. And I'm pretty sure you can log into any of these accounts, including TD Ameritrade, and you can go and buy Tesla and Apple right now or any stock. But if you try to do it first thing in the morning, chances are you couldn't log in. All right. That's game. I'm putting you up on it. It's coming from experience, from me trying to buy Facebook. And uh, the next time you hear some hyped up uh, stock that's about to split or IPO, chances are as soon as the market open, you probably won't be able to log in. All right, everybody. I hope this is helpful. And uh, I will holler at you next time. Stocksandrentals.com. Peace.